Hello everyone, welcome to my first video on the Snickerdoodle. This is just going to be an introduction, and in the following videos we'll talk a little bit more about how to get going with the Snickerdoodle. So just a brief overview, uh, Snickerdoodle is a credit card sized uh, system. It has a Xilinx a Zinc uh, 7000 series processor, and which one depends on which, uh, which version of the Snickerdoodle you choose. Both of those uh, have a dual core ARM Cortex A9 uh, processor on, on the chip. They have, uh, they, but they also have uh, a built-in FPGA. And that's, that's one of the things that makes this a little bit unique and sets it apart from some of the other similar products out there. Uh, it has a uh, capability to have up to a 200 gigabyte micro SD card. It also has 16 megabytes of onboard external memory to the processor. And uh, one of the, the, the big features here is that it has a, a lot of GPIO, 142 pins for the standard version and 167 for the black version. Uh, you also have a lot of the industry standard peripherals, ADC, DAC, I2C, I2S, CAN, SPY, UART, and, uh, and a few others there. Uh, also has a built-in Wi-Fi and built-in Bluetooth. And some of the options available for the Snickerdoodle, uh, first of all, I already mentioned there's a standard and black version. And the differences, the main differences there are the core speeds, uh, the DRAM, and the, the FPGA, and the GPL pins. And, and you see how they compare here. You also have the option of having the connectors on the board up or down. If you're going to use the Snickerdoodle with external hardware that you connect via wires, you choose the connectors up. If you're going to use the Snickerdoodle and connect it directly to another board, you want the connectors down. And there's some other differences there, uh, such as the insertion force for those connectors that uh, help make that difference there. So why would you choose a Snickerdoodle? Uh, first of all, the capability uh, has a high number of GPIO, uh, so you have a, a lot of things that you can connect to it all at once. And it also has uh, many of the most common peripherals that are used in the industry. Uh, some of the peripherals that are available in the Snickerdoodle are not available on some of the, the competitive products out there. Uh, it also has a great deal of flexibility, and this is what I really like about it. Uh, you have an interface flexibility. You can interface with it over uh, USB, JTAG, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and, uh, and some others. Uh, you also, you can run uh, different operating systems on the same, uh, on the different cores of the processor. So you might run Linux on one core and a real-time operating system on the other core, or run bare metal on one core. Uh, for example, and you all you can also reconfigure the FPGA. That's a field programmable gate array on the fly. That's a, that's kind of a unique fe feature for the Xilinx chip here. Um, well, I don't know how unique it is, but uh, it is something. Normally, with an FPGA, you have to uh, program it, and then it does the same thing over and over again. And if you want to do something different, you have to shut down, connect a computer. Uh, reprogram it and then it can, it can go do the new thing uh, with the uh, with this uh, chip you can do that on the fly from the uh, arm cores so that uh, allows you to do a, a, a lot of great stuff with that uh, also have a flexibility in the power you, you can use it can be powered from a USB uh, power uh, and that's how we'll be doing it in some of the, the first videos here but it also has the capability of being powered from an external power supply with a wide range of voltages from 3.7 to 17 volts and so that might be uh, might be ideal to be able to plug into say to a 12 volt uh, automotive power system or something like that also so one of the things that sets us apart from say the raspberry pi it is it is open source uh, you can get the full schematics on GitHub. Uh, you can also get the full data sheet and reference manual for the, the, uh, the Zinc uh, 7000 series uh, processor uh, from Xilinx. Uh, and it's, uh, so you don't need to sign an NDA to be able to get down into the nitty gritty details of the hardware. Uh, so that allows you to, uh, to really uh, make maximum use of the thing. So some of the other uh, distinguishing features, uh, the micro SD card uh, is uh, uh, fully retained. It has a, a cage that goes all the way around the, the SD card and it's, it locks into place. So uh, if you've used some of the other ones out there, uh, you, you, if you're like me, you've, you've had the micro SD card come out accidentally and screw up what we were doing. And, uh, and so this, that helps prevent that on the snickerdoodle. You know, also it's, uh, it's, 
lightweight. Um, I, I weighed a few devices here. I think uh, uh, the, the Raspberry Pi and the uh, BeagleBone Black both came in around 40 grams. And uh, you can see the standard uh, Snickerdoodle here with the connectors up and the micro SD card installed is uh, just under 33 grams. So a little bit of weight. If you, if you want to go make the thing fly, every gram counts, right? Uh, so also um, high quality connectors. Uh, the the connectors on here are a uh, you might might call a, a production grade uh, connector that you might use in any kind of uh, uh, end use product, and so that so that's really nice to have a, a nice uh, nice quality connector there. And uh, there's also already several baseboards available. Uh, Right now, I've got one that's just called break, Breaky Breaky Board or something like that, and uh, it just allows you to break out all the general purpose I.O. Uh, I also have uh, something called a Pie Smasher. It has some other stuff. There, there's a bunch of them out there. I won't, won't go through them all. And I'll just m mention flexibility again just because I think that's the main attraction for me, that it uh, has a great deal of flexibility in, in what you might be able to use the thing for. So uh, from a size comparison, uh, I've, I've put the Snickerdoodle standard right next to a couple other popular alternatives out there. Uh, you can see here you have the Snickerdoodle standard on the left, and we also have a Raspberry Pi 2, a BeagleBone Black, an Arduino Uno, and uh, the size between the Snickerdoodle standard and Black are the same, uh, so uh, that comparison will be the same. Okay, so what's next is we're in the next video, we're going to get started with Snickerdoodle and the things you're going to need, uh, you're going to need at a minimum, you're going to need a Snickerdoodle, of course, and you'll need a micro SD card. And I recommend that you have a version of Ubuntu 14.04 LTS uh, running on either a virtual machine, dual boot, or standalone. Highly recommend uh, starting off uh, with Linux, um, you can use Snickerdoodle with Windows and, and Mac OS X, uh, but a lot of the uh, materials currently available at this recording uh, are going to be using a Linux interface. And since the Snickerdoodle is going to be running a Linux operating system, it just makes sense to get comfortable and familiar with Linux. Uh, we will be running Ubuntu Lin Linux on the Snickerdoodle. And so uh, that's why I'm just recommending that you have a version of Ubuntu. It's not required, uh, but uh, it'll make things go a little bit smoother interfacing uh, Linux with Linux. And that's about it for this video. Please uh, check out our channel and uh, please subscribe and there'll be uh, more coming soon.